Hello and welcome. I'm Joel Ribello, and today we are going to talk about Kingfisher Airlines uh, empl uh, employee count coming down. Uh, uh, Kingfisher Airlines has lost about 3,500 employees. Most of them have quit because the airline, as we all know, is going through a bad patch. Uh, to discuss more about this, we have PR Sanjay, uh, the writer of the story. Sanjay, what's the problem with Kingfisher? Kingfisher is, uh, you know, facing like. Uh a lot of multiple issues. One is like it's uh, cash trap, the cash flow has uh, stopped and uh, of course it is also witnessing the same issues which other airlines uh, is facing uh, like high fuel cost and uh, you know demand is slowing and rupee uh, depreciation and it is also facing a lot of problem with, with vendors and it owes a lot of money to oil marketing companies. It also owes uh, money to various vendors including aircraft lessers, uh, you know airport companies, uh, caterers. Uh, multiple multiple issues and it has scaled down its operations uh, a year ago it used to fly uh, 365 flights a day uh, from there now it has come down to uh, less than less than 100 flights a day it has uh, actually devised a strategy under the code uh, name uh, uh, holding plan temporary holding plan they have substantially downsized their operations so now 3500 employees leaving what will be the impact on the industry because of this uh, industry in the case of uh, you know th there, there will be a surplus of surplus of lot of these many employees on the you know uh, system mm -hmm. like earlier kingfisher used to have 7700 employees now it has come down to 4200 so for example uh, you know skilled uh, you know employees would be more there on the aviation team like for example non skilled or uh, who can actually go to service industry uh, wouldn't find a problem because they can uh, always find a you know job in hospitality industry or other services industry but when it comes to airline specific jobs like pilots or engineers they will uh, find a bit pro problematic because you know it will have a you know uh, adverse impact on the existing uh, pool of uh, aircraft engineers and pilots. So, for example, Indigo want to hire. So, for example, an uh, aircraft engineer at uh, Indigo wanted a hike. It, it won't be that that easy because you know the aircraft uh, airline owners are getting uh, in a surplus uh, pool f as uh, in a lot of uh, aircraft engineers from Kingfisher has come there there in the market and their upward grass for much lesser uh, salary. So, is it a good thing for other companies for Kingfisher's competitors that there's so much talent in the market? Technically, it's good for uh, you know uh, Indigo or Jet Airways uh, for uh, other carriers. They will get uh, the talent cheaper, but uh, largely on an in industry perspe perspective, it is not good because the economy is slowing down. The Global airlines are also witnessing a lot of turbulence, and at this point of time, this kind of a mass exodus is not going to go well with the you know industry and its profitability and its reputation as well. So there we have it. Another set of bad news from the aviation sector: Kingfisher has lost about 3,500 employees in the last one year. Uh, not good news uh, if you look at it for the airline as well as for the industry. For us customers, uh, less amount of airlines means higher tickets because there's not enough competition. Uh, we, I mean, uh, this. This uh, phase of uh, bad news could continue for some time now. Oil price is going up. Uh, so uh, it looks like the airline in, uh, industry has really hit a roadblock and it may take some time uh, to get back on its own feet. Keep watching Live Mint. Thank you.